Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to convert your HTML website to a WordPress website, so let's not waste any time and get right into it. 20 years ago, all websites were made with nothing but text and static HTML. Now though, websites are much more complex. This is in large part thanks to the open source projects like WordPress, which allow people to create websites with no coding experience. Most people who still use HTML websites simply don't know how to convert them into a WordPress site, especially without losing content or needing to do excessive of formatting on a page by page basis. Thankfully, there are a number of ways to go about solving this problem. Let's go over three different options. Option one, manually create a WordPress theme based on your current static HTML site. This will require you to get into your code. You'll have to access your current site directory via FTP and use your existing code as a starting point. From there, you'll need to create the necessary files for a WordPress theme and copy bits of code from the WordPress codex. This is fairly simple and straightforward if you have some experience with HTML. HTML, CSS, and a bit of PHP. Option two, install a pre-made theme and simply migrate your content. This is probably the best option at the intersection of simplicity and value. Assuming you already have hosting for your current website, you only need to spend money if you choose to purchase a premium theme. The plugin we're gonna use for importing content is free, so you don't have to worry about that. And finally, option three, paying to have an HTML to WordPress conversion service recreate your site. This is of course the easiest solution as it doesn't require you to do much of anything. However, you will not do much for familiarizing yourself with WordPress and the cost will vary depending on who you choose to hire. I won't be covering this option because if this is the route you are interested in, you can simply do a quick search for service providers and they'll take care of the rest. No matter which route you decide to take, there are a few things you wanna do before diving in. The first is choosing a hosting plan. You want to look over the options that are out there and decide on a package that best fits your needs. Or perhaps you'd like to create a local WordPress installation instead, which you can always migrate later to your hosting service. Once you've chosen, you need to install WordPress and get yourself logged in to WP Admin. So let's talk about option one. If your goal is not only to get your content from your static HTML site into WordPress, but also duplicate your current design, this means you'll need to create your own custom theme. Thankfully, that's not as scary as it might sound at first. It only involves creating a few folders and files, a bit of copy and paste, and then uploading the result. You're gonna need a code editor such as Sublime or Notepad++ and access to both your HTML sites directory and your new WordPress install directory. So now on my computer, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder that's gonna hold all of the theme files. Now this might be the hardest part, coming up with a theme name. For me, I'm just gonna go with cool because this is gonna be a cool theme. Now, inside of this folder, I need to create a few files to actually make the theme. So the first one I'm gonna make is style.css, then I'm gonna make index.php, and then header.php, sidebar.php, and finally, footer.php. So this right here is my HTML website that I will be turning into a WordPress theme. And in order to keep this style, I need to go into the original file for style.css, take all of this code and put it into the new style.css we just created. Now we need to go ahead and place this at the top of our style.css file. If you want, this blog post is linked in the description so you can just copy and paste. This part's very simple, just replace it with a theme name a link to your theme, a description, version number, author, and your website. Once you fill this out, you can save it and close it. Before we get into the next step, let me give you a quick note on how WordPress works. WordPress uses PHP to cull and retrieve pieces of data from its underlying database. Each file that we're using in this tutorial is designed to tell WordPress which part of your site content to display and where. So when I say we're gonna chop up your existing HTML, what we're actually doing is simply cutting and pasting parts of your existing code into the different files we've just created so that WordPress will know where to display them. So first things first, open up your current site's index.html file. Highlight everything from the top all the way to where your main content starts. As you can see, div ID equals main, so we're gonna stop right before that. Now go to your header.php file and paste that code in. Save it and close it. Back in the index.html file, we're gonna go ahead and select everything for the sidebar, copy it and paste it into sidebar.php. You can save it and close it. Now we'll take everything at the bottom here and go into footer.php, paste it, save it and close it. Everything left in our index.html file is what we're gonna copy and paste into index.php. In order to finalize your new index.php file, you need to make sure you can call up the other sections that are housed in the other files you just created. In other words, put back together the elements we just chopped up. So at the very top of your index.php file, we're gonna place this line of code, php get 
header. And we know right in between here is where the sidebar went. So we're going to go ahead and do PHP get sidebar. And then at the bottom, we're going to do PHP get footer. And since in between the section is where all of our content's going to go, we now need to put in the loop. This is the primary bit of PHP that WordPress uses to display your post content to visitors. So the final step in creating your new themes index.php file is adding this code within the content section. Again, this blog post is linked in the description for you to copy and paste. Now we can go ahead and save index.php and close it. Your theme is now finished and all that's left is to upload it to your WordPress website. To do that, access your WordPress directory, go to wp-content, themes, and drop in your theme folder. Go to WordPress admin, appearance, themes, and there you go. There is the cool theme by Matt, which is a really cool theme. Now let's go ahead and click activate. If I refresh my website, all that's left to do at this point is populate your new WordPress website with your old site's content. Stick around for option two where I cover just that. So if what I just covered seemed too intensive or time consuming to you, then rest assured there is another way, which is option two. Instead of converting whatever design you happen to be working with right now into a WordPress theme, you can take advantage of any one of the thousands of themes available in the WordPress marketplace. Once you've chosen a theme, you can install it right from WordPress in the appearance themes section, or if you downloaded it, you can go ahead and click upload theme and just drop in the dot zip. Once you've done this, you'll have a new WordPress website and theme set up, but you'll have no content at all, but that's okay because whether you chose option one or two, we're now going to talk about importing your old sites content in WP admins, go to plugins, add new and search for the following plugin HTML import two. go ahead and click install and then activate. Once you've done that, follow its handy user guide to import your entire directory of HTML pages and images. After this, you'll have all of your old content living on WordPress and formatted by your new theme. Or if you created your own theme like I did, your site should pretty much look the same as it did before, but now running on WordPress. So you're all done and you've just joined one of the largest open source communities in the world. Don't forget to check out the blog post linked in the description if you want to get a closer look at the code. If this video helped you in any way, then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and follow us on all of our social platforms to keep up to date with our new content. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.